This video will show you how to work with Booking Equipment tab. There are four scopes on top of the Equipment tab. Products Tree, Pricing, Product Info, and Actions. Let's start from Products Tree. It has four tabs. Tree View shows rental and sales equipment in a Tree View layout. Find allows you to find product when you remember only some letters from product code or description. Search. This functionality is similar to find, but it will show results based on partial string searches. Options. With our multi-location feature, options allows you to filter by location or set to all locations. For example, I know that I need audio mixer, but I don't remember its product code. I will just type letter M via find or search tab, and it will return the result with three items. I will add two mixers to my booking. Also, you always can add products directly from tree view by double clicking. Now I have three items in my grid. Actions. This is a list of commands that you can run against your booking or equipment in the grid. You can add comment, sundry, heading, or items. For example, I know that I need a microphone for my booking and I know that its product code is U645KJ. I will press Add button and just type the product code in. Then I will press Tab button or Enter and the product will be added to the list. Delete. Deletes selected item. To delete several items at one time, use multi-delete. You will find a lot of useful commands in the Actions menu. Operations with equipment lists will help you do your work quickly and carefully. For example, you know that you will need to send the same equipment to different shows a number of times. The best way to save your time will be to create equipment list and save it for future use. So I will make a list from equipment already added and save it. I will add a microphone, some cables, monitors and mixers for example. Save to equipment list will save all these items to equipment list. For example, tomorrow's show. Load previously saved list of equipment will load your equipment list with all comments, headings, sundries, and so on. For example, I will select standard number 2 equipment list. Here I have two headings, comments, sundries, and adjusted prices. Pricing shows all the info about your rates, costs, discounts, fees, and etc. Total Rental shows total amount of rental on the booking without discount. Delivery Pickup shows cost for booking delivery and return. Installation Operator displays total amount for crew and technicians. Rental and Sales Discount shows discounted amount and percent amount of rental and sales items. Event Management displays how much you will charge for an event management fee. Sales shows sales items amount without discount. Sundries Sundries amount. Insurance shows how much money you will charge for insurance or damage waiver. 
Insurance percent is pre set up. Estimated sub rental shows amount when there are some items on the booking that need to be sub rented. For example, I will increase the quantity of this item to 20 to cause a shortage, which will be automatically marked as potential sub rental and increase the estimated sub rental figure. Subtotal shows total amount of the booking, not including taxes and discount. This booking is free from taxes now, but you can click on the tax field to select the tax authority you want to apply to your booking. Total price shows total amount including taxes and discounts. Multiple currencies are supported. Currency can be changed on the customer tab. Product info shows all information about the selected item in a grid. For asset tracked products, it will show reserved assets. For example, I will select this item. There are no notes and there are no questions for this item. If this item has some notes, then these notes could be entered via product setup. Also, if there are some assets reserved for this item, you can review them by pressing the View Reserved button on the right. You can get more information about reservations on our wiki page. Let's say I want to reserve this item. I will increase quantity to 3. Press Scan Reserved button, enter barcodes and save it. Now reservation info will be displayed here. A reserve could be easily removed by selecting Asset in the Reserved Assets grid and pressing Remove Reserve button. The Equipment grid contains a lot of functionality. On the bottom we have Running Balance which shows out date and time of selected product in a list view by calendar date. Availability shows availability of selected product so you can easily track when item is available or it needs to be sub-rented. Plot shows the schedule for all items of selected product in a calendar layout. For example, we see that one of the assets was on the booking two days ago. Status displays asset statuses of selected product if product is asset tracked. You need to select location or all locations and press refresh button. We see that all assets are in warehouse now. Clear Inquiry deletes all items that are not selected and grayed out. Items can be added in Inquiry status by double clicking on a folder on the tree view. Then double click on the products you want and clear the rest with Clear Inquiry button. Shortage shows shortages for this booking and provides a central place to resolve shortages by making substitutions, entering cross rentals or transfers, or entering purchase orders to purchase. Info shows product notes and questions. Also shows freight characteristics and product image. Location. In multi-location systems, this displays product availability for all locations. Backup. Select Selected Product as backup equipment for a booking. It will receive a discount, 50% in this example.
Analyze shows the anticipated profit in your booking. It is a feature-rich analysis tool. Visit our wiki page to learn more. As you can see, not all info displays on this report. It means that we have done some adjustments to our booking and they won't be saved to the database. It's a common case. You need to save your booking. I will flag continue editing because I don't want my booking to be closed. Enter the reason why price was changed and run analyze again. Now the report chart includes all information about your booking. As we come to the end of this tutorial, a few words about product grid. Code column displays product code. Description column displays product description. Quantity holds the number of items you want. It can be manually adjusted by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Availability shows the number of items you own less any overlapping bookings for the same equipment already in the system. Short shows the number of items short. For example, I will adjust quantity to make this line short. It will be colored in red and short will show one. Subrental shows the number of items that need to be subrented and may be excluded from discount. Unit rate is the cost of one item. Percentage discount is the line discount for an item. Note that the overall booking discount won't be applied to an item if it has a line discount. For example, I will set the booking overall discount to 20%. It will be $1,048 in this example. But this line can't be discounted because line discount is already applied. Price column determines how much the whole line will cost. Common statuses. Rental product. Sales product. Inquiry. This means the line is not selected and will not be saved. Uncommon statuses. Package, Rack, Out is the number of items checked out of the warehouse, In is the number of items returned. Add button allows the user to add product, sundry, comment, heading, and so on. The edit button allows you to edit the selected row. Delete allows you to delete the selected row. Insert is similar to add, but it adds the item above the line selected. Alternative. Using this, you can select alternative products for some short items if you want. For example, this item has an alternative product, and it could be easily added to the booking. 